In this video, we are going to solve another question based on crystal field theory. Okay, so here we will see the effect of ligand strength on the absorption wavelength of different complexes. Now the question here says a complex A typically absorbs light at around 600 nanometers. A given to us is this MH2062 plus. It reacts with ammonia to form B and the complex B is MNH362 plus. Okay, the question is will the absorption wavelength of B decrease, increase or stay approximately same as that of A. Which means, is the absorption wavelength of a complex B also around 600 nanometers or is it less than 600 nanometers or is it greater than 600 nanometers? Now we know that in octahedral complexes like the ones given here, the ligands create an electrostatic field that causes the d orbitals of a metal ion to split into two different energy levels. You see, the d orbitals that are otherwise degenerate or have the same energy levels now split into two different energy sets, the lower T2g orbitals and the higher Eg orbitals. And this energy difference between these levels is what we refer to as the crystal field splitting energy, CFSE. And it is denoted by delta naught as you can see here. Now what is this delta naught? It's essentially the energy difference between the two levels, right? So we can write this as delta E and how can we relate delta E to the absorption wavelength here? To the classic equation delta E is equal to H nu which is nothing but Hc by lambda, right? So in this case we can write delta naught as Hc by lambda and that is how you can relate the crystal field splitting energy with the absorption wavelength. That's it. This is all we need to know to solve this question. So what does this equation say? If this energy difference between these two levels is larger, in that case the absorption wavelength decreases and if this difference in energy level is smaller, then the absorption wavelength is longer. That is the complex will absorb light at a much longer wavelength. Now what determines the magnitude of the delta naught here? The ligands. You see, in these two complexes A and B, you can see that the metal has the same oxidation state. Water and ammonia are neutral ligands and that means the oxidation state of metal in both of them is the same which is plus 2. So the only differentiating factor here is the nature of the ligands. It is these ligands that can determine how large or how small this delta naught is going to be. We know that ammonia is a much stronger ligand than water. A stronger ligand will exert a greater electric field on the metal ion and as a result causes a larger splitting in the d orbitals. So here, the delta naught of the complex B would be larger than the delta naught of complex A, which has a relatively smaller splitting due to a weaker ligand like water. So clearly you can see that when the complex A becomes complex B by reacting with ammonia, the delta naught is actually increasing here. And since delta naught is inversely proportional to the absorption wavelength, we can say that with a larger delta naught, the absorption wavelength of B would be smaller than the absorption wavelength of A. So that means we would expect the complex B MNS362 plus to absorb at a shorter wavelength than 600 nanometers. So lambda B, the wavelength here would be less than 600 nanometers. Now let's say you have the option to choose from two wavelengths here. Let's say one is 315 nanometers and the other wavelength is around 570 nanometers. Now which among these two would be a more likely absorption wavelength of B? Both these values are less than 600 nanometers but would B have an absorption wavelength of 350 nanometers or is it more likely to have an absorption wavelength of 570 nanometers which is kind of closer to 600 nanometers? What do you think? Well, it turns out that the complex B is more likely to have an absorption wavelength of around 570 nanometers and not 315 nanometers. This is because even though ammonia is indeed a stronger ligand than water, the difference in the splitting power of ammonia and water is not very high. For instance, it's not like we are comparing Cn minus ligand with a chloride ligand, right? You can see that in this case, the splitting power between these two ligands is very large. Cn- minus is a very strong ligand and chloride is a very weak ligand. In this case, the absorption wavelength of the corresponding complexes would have a much larger difference. 
and that is why when we are comparing ammonia and water because they don't have a much larger difference in splitting power the absorption wavelength will also not have a lot of difference so if the absorption wavelength of complex a with water as a ligand is around 600 nanometers then the absorption wavelength of complex b with ammonia as a ligand is most likely to be around 570 nanometers and not as low as 350 nanometers. This would mean that there is a substantial difference in the splitting power of these two ligands which is not the case here.